Few search operations underway on the Greek island of Simi for TV doctor Michael Mosley. The 67-year-old was last seen at around half 1pm on Wednesday when he was out for a walk with a couple. He left the couple and his wife Claire raised the alarm some six hours later at half seven after he failed to return home. He also left his phone and there's been no trace of him since. There have been police coming from the mainland, fire services, sniffer dogs, helicopters, all trying to help find him. But locals have described how much of a mystery this is because it's such a small island. Um, so it's so hard to, to, for anyone to go missing, as the mayor said. Police are keeping all options open. It was very hot on Wednesday. They're not sure if maybe he got dehydrated and fell or something else may have happened. Στην άκρη αυτό που βιώνουμε τι τελευταίε μέρε στο ακριτικό νησί τη Σύμη, ένα τουριστικό προορισμό, είναι στην άκρη γιατί για πρώτη φορά χάνεται ένα άνθρωπο, ένα άνθρωπο που πήγε να κάνει πάλι στον Άγιο Νικόλαο και από τότε αγνοείται η τύχη του. Παρόλο που ήταν με τη σύζυγό του, με άλλο ένα ζευγάρι το οποίο το φιλοξενεί στο σπίτι του, αγνοείται δύο και δύο μέρε. Καταβάλουμε κάθε δυνατή προσπάθεια και εμείς σαν τοπική αυτοδιοίκηση, οι τοπικές αρχές εδώ, αλλά και οι ενισχύσεις που έχουν έρθει από την Ρόδο και από την Αθήνα. Μίλησα με τη σύζυγο μόλις τώρα του αγνοούμενου, ε, αν χρειάζεται κάτι ε, να ενισχύσουμε την προσπάθεια αυτή που καταβάλουμε ε, και πιστεύω να τα καταφέρουμε στο τέλος και να έχει έσει ο τέλος όλη αυτή η ιστορία που ταλαιπωρεί την οικογένεια ε, την οικογένεια, όλους τους Άγγλους ε, και όλους τους σημειακούς. Η TV Health Experts' disappearance is moving up a gear this morning, while the police are saying that nothing can be ruled out and all scenarios are open. We are just uh, seeing um, pictures um, of uh, Simi on your screen. It's uh, Simi is part of the Dodecanese. Uh, it's close to roads in the Aegean, just to picture the Aegean, has lovely beaches. Most of them are remote and they can be accessed by boat. In one of those beaches, Dr. Mosley went on Wednesday in the morning with his wife and some friends. And it is understood that at about 1.30 local time, he said he was not feeling very well and he wanted to return home. So he went to a coastal path, reaching the closest uh, village of Pedi, and this was the last time somebody saw him in Pedi. So we, we, we on, know, sorry, I know, just to interrupt, we, we've, this is new news to me. So he's stated to people whilst he was out for a walk that he wasn't feeling well. He stated this to his uh, company at the beach, his wife and the other couple, friends that he was staying with, that he was not feeling very well, and he wanted to return home to the village they were staying. So he left on his own. He didn't have the mobile with him. The mobile was found at their place. And when his wife in the afternoon realized that he was not, you know, back home, he reported this to the police. So now we are entering the third day of the investigation. We had helicopter, drones during the night, trained dogs. And um, at this moment, I'm learning from sources at the Hellenic Coastal uh, Guard that divers are going to join the search because now they are going to search the waters as there is no trace on the ground, which is very peculiar. And Iona, do you know the landscape of the island well yourself? I've been there on holidays a couple of times and I can tell you that Agios Nikolaos Beach is a picturesque beach it can be accessed by boat, and there is only one route to get to Pedi, which is the closest village. The path is clear, but it's rocky, and there are some cliffs there. And the important thing is that there are no trees and there is no shadow. So with the news that a heat wave is coming, you know, all scenarios are being explored that he might faint it because of the heat, he might have had a heart attack and fallen in the sea. Local people say that in the area there are many snakes, that are, are awaking at the moment. So, you know, all scenarios are open and on the, on the cards, to tell you the truth.
Exercise. I know I should, but I don't particularly enjoy it. I begrudge the time and I never seem to make much progress. And I've looked at some extraordinary new research which suggests we can get many of the health benefits of exercise from just three minutes a week. Three, two, one, and that's your done. Woo! Go. I actually enjoy doing these sort of things. I find them very revealing. I mean, I have made a lot of films in which I have been the subject and I have done things. And each film I have learned something interesting about myself. What we now know is it is the place where the puzzle that is the human face finally all comes together. And then it gets distinctly steeper as we go into the woods and the last bit is the steepest bit of all. Okay, if you could send Chad up next, please. Ooh. That's a reduction of a third. Right. That's so you've got about a third less fat going around in your bloodstream. The truth about exercise has turned out to be a whole lot stranger than I'd imagined.